Your next course tonight is a mushroom mousse with crisp potato roll, a whey caramel, brine pecan, savory black vegetable meringue, and a crispy tuile or crisp on the top. Uh, this is uh, a, a number of things going on at once, and um, let me break it down just a, a bit. First and foremost, this is our chance to tell the story of the indigenous people, primarily the Osage, but also the Cherokee, uh, without co-opting their story. That's their story to tell, but we, uh, we like to be able to talk about the things that were being eaten back in the day, and uh, I think the idea of throwing things like acorn, for example, is important because these are things that uh, were stigmatized during the time when European settlers came into the area and, and viewed it as food for pigs instead of humans. And so we, we like to bring those back. And, and same with uh, things like a project called the Lost Crops. This is amaranth and a few other sump weed, uh, knotweed, things that we know were cultivated back by indigenous people but have been lost to time and now are viewed as weeds. Uh, we like to bring all of these things back. And uh, the other here is these pecans. Uh, pecans, uh, when we serve them, they're always uh, sweet baby variety. Sweet babies are the only variety native to Missouri. And so here we've brined them, dried them, and, and used them as a nice little crunch on top. Uh, the savory black vegetable meringue, these are vegetables that we um, aged or cooked for nearly a year. Uh, it was about 10 months, and it's a mix of vegetables. Uh, you may have heard of black garlic. It, we did a similar process, but with other vegetables, it can take much, much longer. So uh, it gives you an example of how long we have to plan in advance to do these menus, uh, especially for now in the winter where things aren't coming in fresh. Uh, if we didn't plan on it last year, you're not eating it today. So again, enjoy this course, and uh, please let us know if you have any questions.